Should I hate the prince whose emissaries have continuously threatened me with uh, being put in prison uh, for years if I refrain from signing an affidavit? Do I hate the men of religion who have drafted heinous reports about me to the security agencies, full of lies and proclaiming me to be an apostate? Or should I hate the people using pseudonyms on new media outlets so they could lie about me and my family so as to damage my reputation further? I need to keep within my heart and find that I bear no threat against anyone. I realize that I feel a lot of sorry for them, the same way I feel sorry for those who decided to give up their feelings and to the like an alcoholic and ready to aim for the same after years of being able to stop their feelings. Yet I am not here to say that I am an alcoholic or a drunk. The oppressor dies and he is forgotten. The free man is jailed and he is mentioned everywhere. I didn't ask for revolution. I didn't ask to change the system. I just have my small house and a lot of young people. I just speak freely on Twitter. A very basic thing in the world, in other countries. So why do you punish me? Only free people make history. I will only live once in this world, therefore I will live it as a big adventure and as a dream called the hope. I'm now going to read an I'm just going to get closer to the speaker. Wally. Writing while going to prison is like bidding your loved ones farewell before you leave on an arduous, far away and, and risky mission. You don't know whether you'll make it back or, or even if you'll ever see them again. I write these words while awaiting the moment when the police call and summon me to serve a prison term of three months. But my imprisonment might drag on for years, pending the outcome of another case before the court on a more serious political charges. As I'm writing these words, ideas crowd each other out, leaving but a frail trace of sharp, direct and candid words. These are the words that came across my mind seven years ago, when I first embarked on the journey of my rights-based work. Do I hate anyone? I wonder, particularly those who have insulted me and my family, using the foulest of words in the course of their investigations. Do I hate those who impose a travel ban on me?